Who's ready for some RC parking lot racing this spring and summer at your local hobby town? My name is Mike. I'll be one of your RC race directors this 2023 parking lot racing season and I'll be getting in on some of the racing action as well. But before we hit the track and turn some laps, we wanted to share some of the basics of our 2023 RC parking lot racing program. Things like who can race, where the races are gonna be held, what types of RC cars we're actually racing, and what you need to bring on race day to make sure you have a great time. One minute, one minute down, so to get things started, let's talk about what RC parking lot racing is. It's pretty much as simple as it sounds. This is on-road, road course style, remote control car racing taking place right in the parking lot in front of the store. On race days, we set up a massive one-tenth scale road course style track. And this is no just makeshift setup. I'm talking scale barriers, apexes in the corners, and an electronic timing system to track full race times and results. Our race days are typically on Sundays and we start around 10 a.m. with open practice. That's when you're gonna get registered and make sure you have the right equipment for race day. At 11 a.m. we have a quick driver's meeting, talk about some rules, then we roll into qualifying races. And then around 2 or 3 p.m., depending on racer turnout, that's when we roll into the main races and that's gonna close out the race day. So now you know the basics of what parking lot racing is. Now let's talk about who can race. This is the easiest question to answer because our RC parking lot races are open for anyone. We're talking brand new, never driven an RC car, first time racers, all the way to expert level, been in the hobby for 10, 20 years. Fire up your RCs and bring them out on race day. Our entry fee on race day is only $10 per class. We try to keep it as affordable as possible. And if you have a driver that's 13 years of age or younger, they are totally free on race day. So now you know who can race, let's talk about where our parking lot races are going to be held. This year we'll be rotating event locations between our Hobbytown Richmond store and our Hobbytown Yorktown store. Race dates, times, and locations will be announced at least two weeks prior to each event. You'll be able to find that information right here in store at the flyers up front or ask one of our staff members or give us a follow on Facebook and Instagram. We'll be posting all event announcements there as well. So you know who can race, where we're gonna be racing. Now let's talk about what types of RCs we will be running on race day. The four classes we are running this racing season are gonna be novice brushed, 21.5 brushless spec, 21.5 brushless open, and 25.5 VTA. You can find the full breakdown of racing class rules on our Facebook page or right here in store. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us a message on Facebook and we're happy to help. Now let's talk about transponders. This little piece of electronic equipment is the most important thing that you need to make sure is installed in your vehicle on race day. We use the easy lap timing system and the transponders are available right in the store. They're extremely affordable compared to most brands of RC transponders and they can plug right into any port in your vehicle's receiver. These transponders are infrared IR, which means they do need direct line of sight. So the best place to mount them is right underneath your windshield. Make sure you keep that windshield clear so it can see the sensor bridge as you drive under and count your laps accordingly. If you have questions or need help installing your transponder into your race vehicle, come on in to any of our four locations before race day. Our staff is more than happy to show you where to mount the transponder and make sure you have everything you need to ensure a smooth day come race day. And the last thing to discuss before we hit the track is what else do you need to bring on race day besides your RC racing equipment? So this is a parking lot event, which means we are gonna be out in front of the store. So racers are required to bring everything they need for their own pit space. And by pit space, we mean the place where you're hanging out when you're not racing on track. So it's recommended to bring a fold out table, a couple of chairs, a pop-up canopy is a good idea to get some shade from that hot summer sun. And you can also bring things like generators to charge batteries. Probably gonna need some tools to work on your RC equipment as well. And then anything else you think you need for a race day to keep your RCs on track and running all programs. And as I mentioned, some days out there on the track are gonna be hot. 
Virginia summers can be brutal, especially when we're on that blacktop. So please bring plenty of water to keep yourself hydrated. Then along with the water, if you want to bring snacks, lunch, food, that is more than welcomed as well. We do run a pretty tight program. We try to keep the race day fairly short so we don't take a lot of breaks in between races. There are restaurants and food places nearby both of our racing venues. So you will have some time to run over, grab some food, but there are gonna be limited breaks. So keep that in mind when you're planning your race day. So that's a quick overview of our RC parking lot racing events. We are super excited and ready to have some fun with you guys this spring and summer at Hobbytown Richmond and Hobbytown Yorktown. Both of these tracks are pretty centrally located, so we hope we get some uh, of our customers from Virginia Beach all the way up to Fredericksburg, Northern Virginia. Everyone is welcome to come, invite your friends, get your touring cars ready, and we will see you on the track very soon.